Welcome back, molders. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and More. Today's video, we're going to go over what's back pressure. What is the purpose of back pressure? Does back pressure affect the melt temperature? And does back pressure affect shot size? Okay, so I'll have a video inside of this video that'll go over a little bit of that for you guys. Um, it does affect the shot size. The more you have, the more plastic you put in front of the screw. It does affect the melt temperature, but not as much as you would think. The screw speed is actually what creates all that friction to give you more uh, heat, okay? Um, a lot of molders use it for uh, consensus, consensity. <laughs> Try to say that word a couple times. But they use it to make sure they have a consistent uh, cushion, plus the shot size is always consistent. Plus, if you're doing color changes, they use back pressure a lot to mix that color uh, to get it to where it's uniform, okay? So hopefully you guys will follow along the video. Inside this video is good information until the end, and then I'll go over the whiteboard with you guys. I appreciate everyone following along. It's been a while, so bear with me. Screw, melt, or plastic decompression is a machine control setting that moves the screw back a small distance away from the plastic remaining in the barrel at the end of the holding phase. Its purpose is to release any pressure in the plastic remaining after the holding phase. There are two instances during the molding cycle when decompression is important before the start of screw rotation and after screw rotation has ended. In both cases, the plastic is decompressed by a machine setting control that moves the screw back away from the plastic a small amount. 1 to 2 percent of total screw back distance setting is sufficient. Why would you want to move the screw back away from the plastic? When packing and then holding pressure is applied, the check ring becomes firmly sealed against the matching screw surface, also known as the thrust ring portion of the screw. When the holding time ends, there is still plastic pressure holding the check ring against the thrust ring surface. If the screw immediately begins rotating, this pressure will cause extra wear on the two mating surfaces until new plastic begins to flow past the check ring. Decompression moves the screw back and releases the pressure on the check ring before screw rotation begins. Setting melt decompression before screw rotation is a good molding practice. When molding, using an all-electric molding machine, melt decompression is important. The starting torque causes a surge in the electrical power to the ball screw drive motor. Melt decompression reduces this surge. On hydraulic molding machines, a spike also occurs at the start of screw rotation, but it is dampened by the hydraulic oil. Back pressure, the resistance of the material to continue flow when mold is closing. The screw goes to carry fresh material into the heating chamber. This fresh material is put in front of the screw and pushes the screw in reverse. A pressure buildup is made at front end of the screw. This pressure is utilized for the good mingling of the plastic, expelling little quality of stuck air and controlling the weight of the shot by keeping a precise density of given volume of melt.
see me very well, but okay. So this there's the whiteboard, okay. So what you have is you have your screw in here, okay. So what they call is they have what they call pre-decompression, which you suck back at the very beginning of the screw here, okay. And what that does is it actually keeps you like if you're bottoming out and you ain't got no cushion. What that'll do is that'll help you relieve the stress here to keep from breaking a screw tip. If you have a cushion all the time, then you might not use pre-decompression, okay? You'll use post-decompression, okay, at the very end. So the screw, a meter back, meter back, meter back. Once it gets to this very last little bit, then it's going to suck back to get the pressure off of the head area, okay? That's on the suck back. So on back pressure, what happens is, is like, let's say you have, let's say you're using 50 pounds, okay? For a hydraulic press, it's 50. But if you're using an electric press, it's not 50. It's actually, you put another zero on there, now it's 500, but it's actually 50. Remember, you always gotta go up a zero when you're using electric presses. So on the back pressure, you the less back pressure, the less back pressure, the faster this will go back, okay? The more back pressure, this, there's a ram back here at the back that's going to force this cylinder to stay forward, okay? So let's say you have it, let's say you have it at a 50 and it's getting back all the time. If you take it, let's say we took it to 250, now it's going to take longer to get back, plus you're going to put more material in front of the screw, so now you're increasing your shot size and everything too. So big, it makes a difference. So less means less material. Plus, it gets back faster. Recovery time is faster. More means what's going to happen is the material is going to take longer to get back. Plus, you, it, a lot of guys use that for purging. So what they'll do is if they have it set at 50 PSI, they'll take it up to 250 or 500 PSI just to purge out the end of the nozzle because the screw's not being able to move back at all, okay? So I hope this helps you guys out as far as what back pressure is. Um, like I said, pre-suck back post suck back in between here this section here is where your back pressure is it's the middle part of the screw okay so understanding that remember hydraulic electric okay so make sure you guys are following that i hope everyone enjoyed the video um please like share and subscribe like i said i'm back i'm going to try to give you guys as much content as i can I appreciate the support to the channel. It helps other molders out there in the industry to move on. Um, there's companies out there that charge an arm and a leg just to learn injection molding. So stay along, I'll show you what I can. Uh, I appreciate all the support. So please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.